In this video, I'll show you a tutorial on how to make a coloring book using Fotor and Grok AI, so you can easily sell it on Amazon KDP. Let's get started. First, we need to choose a theme for our coloring book. You can go for animals, plants, nature scenes, or even abstract patterns. Once you decide on the theme, think about your target audience. Is it for kids or adults? For example, my idea is a kid's coloring book. Dimensions are going to be 8.25 by 8.25 inches, so it's going to be a square, and I would have 24 coloring pages. The binding would be paperback and the interior colors would be black and white. Next, we're going to use Fotor's graphic design tool to design our coloring pages. I'll start with clicking the customize size, the custom size, so by default, the measurement of the pages in here is set to pixels. But you don't want pixels, you want it to be in inches, so you would just click on inches right there. All right, so we're not gonna put 8.25 by 8.25 in, and it's because of, of several reasons, one of it is bleed. Now head to Amazon KDP's website, then under Book Formatting, you would find Format Your Paperback. So click on that, and then under that one, you will see Set Trim Size, Bleed, and Margins. Now if you would scroll a little bit down, you will see the definition that bleed is a printing term that refers to when printed items on a page, such as images or illustrations, basically reaching to the end of the page without any white space around it. Now there are different measurements for a page when you're going to create a coloring book with bleed, so it's not the dimensions of the book you're going to put because, as you can see, if you click this and scroll a little bit down, a chart will pop up and show that the size of the page that you need to have, if your dimensions are 8.25 by 8.25, is 8.375 by 8.5 inches with bleed. So that is the number that we're going to use. So now you want to head back to Fodor and put in the exact measurement. So we're going to put 8.375 inches for the width and 8.5 inches for the height. After that, just click on Apply Now, and there we go. All right, once you create the design, you need to set the margins next, which is where the bleed starts and where the photo will be cut once it gets printed out. So go back to the KDP website and scroll a little bit down in the same place you got the measurements with bleed to see the margins. So it is right here. So the margins have different measurements for different page counts. Since we are using 24 to 150 pages, it's under this part right here. So we'll use 0.375 by 0.375 inches. Now let's set that one back in Fodor. Fodor does not have a ruler, so you can go for elements, find the image shapes, apply the square shape here, and last adjust the size of it. Leave some blank for margins. After that, duplicate your pages to the number of pages you want. Now to generate images for coloring via AI, I wanted an animal coloring book for kids. So before generating, we can go to the AI tool Grok, which has just launched one of the most powerful AI models, Grok 3, to ask for some image ideas. You can directly send a message saying, I wanna make a kid's coloring book. Please give me 24 line art image prompts about animals. In seconds, you will get some perfect prompt ideas for your coloring book images. Now copy the prompts and go back to Photo Design. Click on the image shape, click the Replace button, then click the Generate Image option here. You will enter Fodor's built-in AI image generator. Paste the prompt in the box, set the number of images and the aspect ratio, and click the styles. Head to the Illustration category, and under this category, you can select Line Art, which is perfect for generating images for coloring books. Hit the Generate button, and in a moment, your first image will be done. It looks perfect and easy for kids to color. Then you just need to duplicate the steps to make all the images for your book. Now take a look at all of them. And the key thing you want to note here is that you need to make sure there's a blank page in between each of the illustration pages. This is essentially the backside of each page. And for coloring books, we generally want to leave the backside blank because when kids are coloring, their markers might go through. So you don't want to have illustrations on both sides of the page. Now, once we're happy with this, we want to download our interior pages. Hit the download button, set the file name as coloring book, and scroll down to the file formats. Select the HD PDF format. Lastly, choose all the pages to download. Now let's design the cover for our coloring book. But before we start designing the cover, we first need to set up the cover template in Fotor. 
What you want to do now is hop onto Amazon KDP's cover calculator. This is where you enter all the specs we decided on earlier, like the number of pages, the size of the book, etc. Once we have all this information in the form, it will help us generate a book cover template that we can later use in Fotor. As you can see, the full cover dimensions are here. Now download the template. Apply the dimensions as a customized size in Fotor. It is 16.856 by 8.5 inches. Go to the folder you downloaded the book cover template. Find the image file, copy and paste it in Fotor. Adjust the size of it to cover customized template. Now let's generate the cover image. A good cover should ideally reflect the content of the book, so it's best to keep the cover image relevant to the interior images. So we can go back to the inner page image keyword Grok just provided us with and copy any one you like for the front of the cover. Go back to Fodor, open AI image, and paste the prompter into the box just as you did to generate the interior page. Click on Style. In fact, you can also choose Photography for Style. To get the effect of line art after coloring, we can add a style qualifier in front of the prompter. Colorful line art style. Click on Generate and you get a cover image. Resize the image so that it will cover the box on the right side of the template. Repeat this step to copy the prompt from Grok to AI Image Generator to create the back cover of the book. Once you get the image, resize it so that it covers the box on the left. Click on the image to reduce the transparency of the image. At this point, we can check if the body of the image is within the red margins of the cover template so that we can continue to adjust it. Once you are satisfied with the cover image, the next step is to add a heading. Click on Text, click on Add a Heading. I'll write the heading as coloring book for now and adjust the position and size, then click on add a subheading and write for kids. After resizing and repositioning, I can restore the transparency of the two images. Then all we have to do is make the title and subtitle readable. So we need to change the color of the font to make it more legible and we can also apply effects to make the title look better. If there are no more problems, then it can be downloaded. Still, as in the case of downloading the inner pages of the same click on the upper right corner of the download button and then select the PDF format and then name and download the cover. So the cover photo is downloaded and it's time to upload the book on Amazon KDP. So go to Amazon KDP's website. Once you're there, click on Create and you'll see different choices right here from Kindle eBook, Paperback, Hardcover and the Series page but we're creating a paperback, so I'll choose that one. Now enter the book details. It is easy. You just need to follow the instructions of the site step by step. See, making your own coloring book is really simple. Now it's your turn to start creating. Try using Fotor to make your own coloring book today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.